Uh, I'm Kelly Boyle. I'll be fighting as the main event at Mulcahy's at Kickboxing Mania at, um, August 9th. And I'm very excited to be there. <laughs> Kelly, do you know a lot about your opponent? Um, I do in the sense that we used to train together um, kind of frequently, but it's been a while, obviously, since you know we've been training for our fights and we're excited for it. But she's definitely the biggest test for me so far. I'm excited for that, especially if I want to level up as a fighter. I should be stepping up with my opponents as well, so I'm excited to get in the ring with her. How do you feel about fighting in the main event? It's very exciting. I didn't think that I would be in this position this early in my fight career, but I'm very grateful for it, and I'm going to promise that I put on a show for you guys. How do you feel being one of the two women in the finals in the most historical New York tournament there is in women? It's it's awesome. It's such a great feeling. I mean, it's, we're part of history in such a cool way, and I hope this really inspires a lot more girls to get involved in, in the sport, you know, whatever respect they want, how far they want to go with it. I just hope it's inspiring. <laughs> and last question. Sure. What's your prediction? I mean, I think I'm going to come out there victorious, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> How do you feel if you win, you get to be part of Team USA and travel overseas to fight against Team England? I think that would be an incredible opportunity, and I hope that I can earn the spot on that team and tell Rick and the crew to start packing their bags because we're going to England. <laughs> um, Paige DiBartolo fighting at Roaring Tactical Fitness. I'll be fighting the main event um, at Mokegi's August 9th. Uh, it's great. This is actually going to be my first main event. Um, I feel honored. It's great. Um, the tournament went well. and. Went as expected. I'm excited to fight. You know a lot about your opponent. I do. I've seen her fight. We used to train a while back in the girls' training camp we had, um, and I'm I don't know, I'm just excited. I just want to fight. How do you feel about being part of the most historical women's tournament in New York? It's definitely great. Um, being in the 145 division for as long as I have with my experience, it has been very slim to none. But I see this division rising, so I kind of feel honored being a part of that and being able to create something extraordinary. Any predictions? What kind of question is that? <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm going to say you know, I want to win, um, but it's going to be a great fight, so stay tuned. I have one more question. I, I, I feel if you win, you get to be part of Team USA to travel across seas to be fight Team USA versus Team England. I feel honored. That's pretty dope. Um, you know, to be able to go overseas and expand my experience over there, that's my name is Tony Oriema, fighting at Mokei's August 9th at the Beatdown 3. I had a, that's it, and I'm gym Inferno Training Center. Now, you're coming off a loss against the champ in one of the most impressive fights of the year so far. How do you feel about making your return now? I feel really good. I feel like people are starting to see, you know, the progression I'm making. Um, you know, start unknown, finish unforgettable. How do you feel about going down in weight, which is normally your normal weight, your last two fights are up in weight? That's fine. I mean, I, I always walk around at like this type of weight, so I should be straight. Any predictions? First round knockout. Late. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm Michael Berg. I'm fighting Bobby's main card. Well, not main card, but great card. Over at Mulcahy's on August 9th. Um, hopefully the kickboxing mania and, uh, you know, hope do good. Mike, this is your first time fighting in the cage. How do you feel about that? It's definitely cool, man. It's something I always wanted to do is fight in the cage. And this is, I'm glad you gave me the opportunity to do that. And I'm looking very forward to it. How do you feel about rematching your opponent after you have the win over him already? I feel good about it. I mean, you know what? I did win. It was a close fight. I know he got uh, a point taken away, so it was really more close than it actually was. I learned a lot by watching the video on myself wise and him and I'm going to take it a step up a notch up. Any predictions? I just want to survive, come out uh, healthy, you know, nobody get hurt, all good. But if I predict something, I hope to win. Nice. Thank you. All right. Go? Yeah. All right. Uh, my name is Sergio Rivera. I'm fighting August 9th at Kickboxing Mania at Mulcahy's at a No Limits Kickboxing. Nice. Sergio, how do you feel about being the co-main event? I feel good, man. I, uh, I've been in the game for like seven years, so I haven't gotten here yet, but it's definitely well-deserved. Is this your first title fight? Yes. Any predictions against fighting a taller, lankier opponent? Well, I'm 5'4", so everybody's taller. It's, it's nothing new. Same, same story, same story. Still have a fight, man. I'm gonna do my best, you know, bring it to him. That's the only way to win.
bring it to him and uh, show what I've learned, show how good I am. Hey, my name is John Gunkler. I fight out of Panza MMA. I'm fighting August 9th at Jackhammer Kickboxing Promotions at Mulcahy's in Wontaw. This is your first fight. How do you feel about going into the cage? I'm excited. I'm, I'm real excited. It's, I think uh, combat sports is a good way for, for men to test themselves, men and women to test themselves. And so just be another uh, test on my journey. Now your opponent has one fight. How do you feel about that? He's more experienced. It'll look better when I win. Any predictions? Um, well, if I don't get a knockout, I'll be pretty upset with myself. So I'm going to go ahead and say second round knockout. Nice. Hello everybody, it's Peaches from Vamos, fighting August 9th with a beatdown 3 for uh, Jack Hammer Promotions at Mulcahy's Pub and Concert Hall. It's going to be a great show, Dress to Impress, VIP. Um, you got any questions for me? He's good. I, I should put mine down. What are your predictions and what do you know about your opponent? I don't really know anything about my opponent. Uh, I believe he's right-handed, orthodox. Yes. Uh, can't find his social media, he's kind of a ghost off the grid, but... It'll be fun. We'll probably like the old days. Well, why is your nickname Peaches? Because I'm from Georgia. I'm a Georgia peach. And uh, the people I train with are jerks. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what can someone expect um, out of you when they see you fight? Uh, a very technical fight. I mean, my first two fights, I'm still breaking off rust. I'm getting used to the ring. But I'm going into this fight, I feel completely different. I feel like a kid going to a water park. I can't wait. So I've been working my combos, been working my, you know, my technical skills, working my range. I'm really looking forward to it. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Yeah.